and better with age. That's a good one. Yeah, I like that one too. Where are you in life with this? Is this kind of one of those songs that get written from experience, just from life experience? Because there's some some kind of you know new stuff in there. There's some kind of older man stuff in there, older person stuff in there. You know, what was the inspiration? Where did it all come from? Just tell us about Better With Age. Well, you, you know, you get to a certain stage mentally and physically, uh, emotionally and everything, I guess, uh, to where age really starts to become an issue. Um, to me, there's a good side and a bad side. So I put the bad side first, you know, give them the bad stuff first and then give them the redeeming stuff in the second verse. Um, but, you know, life does have a way of making you pay. Uh, you get uh, you get sick more often. You get aches and pains and little ailments and stuff like that that just really bug the hell out of you. I mean, I call it old man shit because at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's the stuff that, that older people deal with. You know, everything from, uh, oh, I didn't know that was going to happen to me, or you bump your you bump your arm into a cabinet, and all of a sudden you get one of those arm bruise things that old people get, you know? You say, oh, that's old man shit. So at the end of the day, you know, there's that. And, and basically, the older you get, um, the harder and worse that, that kind of gets. But the second part is, you're still around, and you still have your friends, and you still have your your family, your wife, and and got Barry and and all kinds of good stuff going on. I'm still writing, and, and every time I put my my pen to the page, it just, you know, I get pumped. You know, it it it, it there is there is life surging through, uh, you know, my thoughts onto a page, and that makes all the difference. And of course, the conversations that I have with my friends and my colleagues, whether they be in education or music, uh, those things are incredibly enriching. Now, would you say between the ages of 50 and, say, 70, would you say that's a sweet spot where you're not so broken down and you can still remember and you can still do? Would you say that that's that's the sweet spot in life? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. But, you know, I'm in my 70s now, and there are little things that really get in the way. For example, not to get too, you know, particular, I developed a trigger finger in my thumb which kept me from playing my guitar for about four or five weeks. I got a shot and all the rest of that stuff, and it, it's basically gone away. But that's something that, you know, that really kept me away from something that I love to do, which is play my guitar. I'm back to playing it now, but at the end of the day, that was a problem because, you know, and it, it, the stuff just, I didn't do anything to make it that way. It's just something that, an ailment that just kind of cropped up that older people generally have the tendency to get, especially if you're using your hands a lot, which I do.
time that I spend with my colleagues and friends, for the time that I spend on my own, for my wife and her conversation, and the time that I spend in my home. Oh, my heart starts to beat a bit faster as my words flow out on the page. When you look through my eyes, you'll soon realize that it only gets better with age. It can only get better with age. Yes, it always gets better with age.